Well boys, Supreme has done it once again. They are coming out with a new pair of Supreme Nikes that in my eyes, they are absolutely gorgeous. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop straight into this video. Dree Squad, what is going on? It is your boy Dreezy coming at you guys here with a brand new Supreme video. Now here in this Supreme video, we are going to be going over the Nike Air Cross Trainer 3 Lows that we're going to be seeing from Supreme here very shortly. So with that stuff being said, you guys, if you guys are new here, go down below and click that big red subscribe button for me. Help your boy out out and help him get to 1,000 subscribers. It would be greatly appreciated. And also while you're down there, drop a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think of these two shoes that are releasing. For those of you wondering why I did not post a Supreme video last week, I got a lot of questions about it, stuff like that. Supreme did not release anything last week due to the incidents that are going on in the world today after what happened to George Floyd, which was absolutely terrible. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not going to start a political war on my channel, but just know I agree and disagree with some of the things that are going on in terms of what happened with that. With that that being said, Supreme did not drop anything last week. Now, one thing in terms of the upcoming Supreme releases that I could see happening is them actually releasing a t-shirt or something honoring what is going on and then donating the proceeds to one of the programs that, that people are raising money for currently. That is something I think we might see because they did it with COVID-19, which is also terrible. So stay home, stay safe, you know, keep clean, all that other stuff. There's a lot of going on in the world right now that shouldn't be happening. With that being said, Supreme is doing their part in helping donate, things like that. So I do think that is a possibility of something that we could see within the next drop or the drop after that. With that stuff being said, you guys, let's just go ahead and hop into the Supreme Nike shoes. Now, all the way back in week two of the Supreme Summer 2020 drop, we did see the Supreme Nike Air Force One low. These sold out really fast and they have been restocking throughout the season. And then they also are saying that it's going to restock throughout other seasons as well. But again, no one is quite sure what is going on. So with that being said, they did release in a white colorway and a black colorway. Now, these shoes are reselling up into the two to $300 range and with that being said the shoe itself went for $96 now if we are to compare that to an actual Nike Air Force One low they sold for $90 so with that being said Supreme charged $96 for this pair of shoes and then they added on the $10 for shipping and tax all the other stuff so you're probably paying right around $120 for them which isn't bad considering a normal pair is $90 right they only added $6 on for the actual pair of shoes just for Supreme box logo on the back not bad at all so where I'm going with this is that these Nike Air Cross Trainer 3 lows they're normally $120 as they are. So with that being said, I would expect to pay anywhere from 150 to 160 for these, and that's with shipping and taxes included. I, I bet they're going for probably 130, 140 retail. And again, resale is going to be probably up into three to four hundred dollars. Now, over time, that is going to build up. For example, like the Nike SB lows and highs, they're going for thousands of dollars right now. And that is absolutely insane. So with this pair of shoes, I could see resale doing very well. So with that stuff out of the way, here are the two pairs of shoes. You've got this beautiful Gucci colorway. This is the pair I'm going to be going for anything red, green, black, or red, green, and white, your boy absolutely loves because your boy is obsessed with Gucci. Gucci is hands down the coolest brand out there. So again, this is the pair that I am going to be going for. As you can see, it says Supreme across the back in the green letters, and then it's got the black sole with the red trims, all that other stuff. So again, the shoe is super sick, super clean, and then we also have what I'm calling that in and out California burger style colorway. You've got the red, you've got the green, you've got the yellow, you've got the white, all four colors of in and out So this is a pair that I do light. However, I have absolutely nothing to match it with. And with that being said, I'm not going to be going for this pair. I could see this pair doing extremely well because as we all know, like Sean Witherspoon, shoes that just have crazy colors that don't really go with each other do really well. And this colorway I could see actually doing really well. So like I was saying, a normal pair is 120. So I'd expect to pay 130, 140 for these. And then on top of it, you got shipping and taxes and all that other stuff. You're probably going to pay right around $160 for these if you guys are interested in them. Now this is leaked. So again, it's not 110% sure, which I I think it it will be released but with that being said these are two pairs of shoes that i think we are going to be seeing in this upcoming week or if not this week the next week following it if you guys did not see my last video definitely go check it out because i talked about all the things that we have left to see um of course they are still coming out with more stuff that we don't know about but with that being said we really don't have a lot of heat releasing and then in my personal eye like the basketball that's releasing that is going to do extremely well in terms of resale so if you guys can get your hands on that basketball that puppy's gonna do hella well with resale but other than that guys we are just not seeing a whole lot in terms of the resale game for products left to drop. These shoes are going to do very well in terms of resale. I think they're going to do a little bit better than the Nike Air Force One Lows just because of how different, how unique they are. Everyone out there right now, including chicks, everyone's wearing them. A absolutely everyone's wearing them. Me, I love the looks of them. They they actually look good on me because for those of you who don't know, me wearing height these shoes don't really go hand in hand. So like the Nike Air Force One Lows do look good on me, but like I said, the, the 
like the community has just kind of killed it kind of like people killing it with the Gucci belts like the fake Gucci belts and the real Gucci belts are all over the place now I'm pretty sure every kid my age now has one so the hype around Gucci belts have kind of died in my eyes and kind of with the Air Force One lows now again I, I think they're absolutely sick but I think the vibes have kind of died down a little bit so with the Air Cross Trainer 3s I could see myself rocking the red and green pair the other pair not so much so with that stuff being said you guys let me know your guys' thoughts on these two pairs of shoes I kind of went through let you guys know the prices a little other stuff again there's not a lot of information out there about these shoes because it is a leaked, a leaked product. So with all that stuff being said, you guys, this was a quick little short Supreme video for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys did learn something, enjoyed this. And yeah, it's been your boy Dreezy. I will see you guys hopefully this week with a week dropless review. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.